Hello and welcome to my channel. Here you'll find game reviews, playthroughs, and if you're interested in games at all, you've come to the right place. Warning! This material contains plot spoilers and reveals key moments of Cyberpunk 2077. I didn't like the standard endings, and throughout the game, I wanted to truly get revenge on Arasaka, to orchestrate another terrorist attack or something similar. Fortunately for me, such an opportunity exists. It is called the secret ending of Cyberpunk 2077, titled, Don't Fear the Reaper, with the best possible outcome. However, it is quite challenging to achieve. Firstly, you need to maintain good relations with Johnny throughout the game. He doesn't like brown nosers, so don't overdo it. Occasionally, you'll come across dialogue options like, be rude to Johnny, which you can choose or skip. I recommend not selecting them. Secondly, during the mission where you visit Johnny's grave, choose the correct dialogue options. Thirdly, follow the correct sequence of actions during the final choice dialogue with Johnny on the balcony, where he offers you the opportunity to select the ending. Fourthly, the mission itself is the most difficult in the game. Fifthly, the ability to save during the execution of this mission is disabled, only one autosave will be available before the boss fight. So, what do we need to do to achieve the secret ending? It's important to have a good relationship with Johnny but not overly good since he doesn't like suck-ups. Throughout the game, you should avoid being rude to Johnny but also try to tell him the truth. Your relationship with Johnny should be at least 70%, as anything lower might not work. Follow the correct dialogue options at specific points. Before storming the ship with Bestia, you should already have a relationship level of over 20% with Johnny. During the ship assault with Bestia, when given the choice to kill or spare someone, choose to kill. Then take the key from the body and proceed to the platform in the center of the ship. There, find a terminal and lower the container. Inside the container, you'll find Johnny's Porsche. Visit Johnny's grave. Sit next to it and choose the correct dialogue options. After visiting Johnny's grave, you should have at least a 40% relationship level with him. The next crucial moment is the date with Bestia. Don't get upset about renting your body and call Bestia for a date. During the visit to Carrie's mansion, ask him if he wants to revive Samurai. Choose Danny for the concert. After the concert, ask Carrie if he wants to do it again. Now, you should have a relationship level of at least 70% with Johnny, which means you can trigger the ending. During the dialogue for the final choice, you must also follow a specific sequence of actions. By default, you'll have several possible endings to choose from. Once you reach this choice point, don't rush to select an option. Rotate the camera, go through the options, in short, stall for time, approximately a minute. After that, choose the option where Johnny goes with Bestia, you can try with other options, it seems to work with all of them. Then, stop. Johnny asks, are you sure about this? Now, you must stall for a significant amount of time, approximately 2 to 5 minutes. Rotate the camera, go through the options, but don't select anything. Some people claim that they just need to look back and forth, between the gun and Johnny, while others look between the gun and Johnny. Personally, I managed to trigger it without this method, I just rotated the camera in all directions. Eventually, Johnny will start talking to you. If you've been waiting for more than 10 minutes, you might have done something wrong or missed something. After Johnny starts talking to you, finally, another option will appear. It involves a, a suicidal attack on the Arasaka Tower. Choose that option. Go and kick some Yakuza asses. Very important point. During the attack on the tower, the ability to save is disabled, but there will be one autosave before the boss fight. Therefore, make a manual save before the attack whenever possible. Don't assume it will be easy. The attack is very difficult, with many strong enemies. I recommend stocking up on top tier gear, healing items, and upgrading a deadly skill. I used energy weapons and an implant that throws explosives. You can shoot enemies through walls. The enemies are at the maximum level and even on low difficulty, pose a significant challenge. To avoid spoilers, I won't reveal what exactly happens in the end. But I can tell you that it's the best ending with the best possible outcome. Good luck to you!
If you found this video interesting, please subscribe and like it, and I'll see you in another video.